but... Listen, I don't care about stock deliveries right now. I need to keep this line free today. Yeah? Don't call me again. Tell me you've heard from Nugget. I was on board last night, open to hear his keys in the door. Denise, man, if you had dealt with her slander in the first place, none of this would have happened. I can't have my grandson on these streets for another night. We're calling the police. You know how the police have targeted us, our family. Listen, I, I, I can still find him. He could him be anywhere, that. Ravi, with anyone. Now you call him. Or I will. I know things got a little bit heated between you and Nish last uh, night. Don't even go there. Yeah, but he just found out his grandson had gone missing. Oh, and that makes it okay, does it? Well, you're gonna say things in the heat in a moment when you're upset. Morning. So you're trying to test that theory now? Well, business is business. No. And money is money. It doesn't matter where it's come from. I am not taking anything from that man. All right? Oh, by the way, I'm glad you slept with Nish's wife. We have where to get approval from your mum. That man deserves every bit of misery that comes his way. No, no, you can't tell Nish. <sighs> of course I wouldn't. Well, so that's it. You're done with the business. This is me you're talking to. Yeah, but it's just well, what you just said to Dad. Money is money. It doesn't matter where it comes from. You were bored with this. With what? I thought the business was dead without the Panasars. Well, I'm just trying to keep my options open. Why are you looking so guilty? I'm not. Peter. Where's your mother? She was looking for another way to raise the cash. What, another investor? Who? Hello, Phil. Oh, uh, just a little something to wish you well in your marriage. A beal bearing gifts. <laughs> Why do I feel worried? You should feel excited. Oh, yeah, what's that? I'm about to offer you a golden opportunity. <laughs> you need money? Just a little bit. 